Hello everybody. We are live. Today's date is May 12th. My name is Cindy Ellers and welcome to Cindy's Stamping Studio. I'm so glad you're here. I'm just a little bit early and we'll, I have to get everything all set up. Mainly find myself. There it is. And we have Karen. Hi, Karen. We have Sally, my mom. Wow, that's great. I'm always happy when we have more people joining us. Um, I just started out a little bit early. I have to get my Kindle all set up so I can see myself and everything else. Make sure I have a whole list of things I have to do. So... How's everybody doing? I uh, hear the neighbor uh, is mowing their lawn, so I guess it must be that time of year. Husband's going to change oil in the um, lawnmower tomorrow, so I'll be able to mow my mom's lawn and then maybe mow ours, but I doubt it. Um, we're, we're low. Even though it is dried out, it just isn't really that long. It doesn't need to be. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. What else do I have to tell you? I got some very pretty cards in the mail this week, so I would like to share them with you. And um, the first card I got was this one from Rita Jacoby. It uses our Timeless Tulip stamp set. I thought it was just so pretty. And the other card I got was this one from Arliss Knoop. She thought it was my birthday, but I'm going to save it for next month, which is when my birthday actually is. So those two cards I wanted to share with you. Um, the other thing, okay, there's a couple other things to share with you right behind me. The Stamping Up catalog, I got the new one. It goes live on June 3rd. Um, as you can see, I got my tabs. I've already got everything. Um, all my little red stickers that tells me when um, is a good time. Hi, Danella. Thanks for joining me. I'm sure Danella's got her catalog, her Stamping Up catalog, and she's probably got it all bookmarked the same way I do. One thing I can show you is the new colors uh, that are coming. And when I flip my camera around, I'll show them even better. And then I want to talk to you about the May stamp of the month. Hi, Kathy Miller. Thanks for joining me. Um, my drink of choice tonight is Diet Pepsi. I just really, one a day, that's all I have. So, that's not so bad. Okay. Um, let's go and flip my camera around so that we can, um, so you can see the, what I have on my desk. Okay. So, Hold on. There we go. There we go. Get everything. Raise it up a little bit. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, what I wanted to talk to you first about is the stamp sets that we have to vote on for the May stamp of the month. Um, we have the ornate 
thanks we have the ornate style and we have a really very versatile uh, word stamp set which is called peaceful moments if you are interested in participating in the stamp of the month um, all it costs is $24 you'll receive the stamp set and card kit to make four cards it's a really good deal and um, everybody seems to really like it so there we go there I am finally found me all right the other thing I wanted to share with you were the new in colors we have coming on the 3rd of June let me get you straight there there on the 3rd of June we have just Jade bumblebee cinnamon cider moonlight mist and magenta madness all fun colors um, at first I thought perhaps the magenta would be like our melon mambo but I'm told it's not not even close it's more of a bright pink I think we had a, when I first started we had a pink passion and I bet you that's what it's gonna be like the moonlit madness I'm told is like a soft denim the cinnamon cider is like a creamy caramel bumblebee I think it's a brighter crushed curry and just Jade so here are the color coaches I don't know if you use a color coach but I certainly do because there's no way I can come up with those really great um, color choices that I have I want to get this out of the way before I forget and that is last week's winner for um, our weekly drawing this is a celebration stamp set from one or two years ago and that is gonna go to our very own Judy Vine and I will Judy got it for leaving a comment so for sure make sure you leave me a comment share this video it all helps and um, you'll be able to see this video on my blog on Thursday I always upload it to my blog and to YouTube I appreciate everybody that goes to my blog and um, hits like I appreciate that a lot okay so tonight's stamp set that we're using is retiring another one retiring it's called animal outing and this is what it looks like it can be found on page 102 of the annual catalog so that's what we have notice my catalog is quite marked up so I can keep track of everything right yes okay so we get let's get stamping our um, card tonight it's going to feature grapefruit grove um, cardstock that is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter we'll be using it as a sideways card and using the tropical oasis well or first of all early espresso and then tropical oasis as a layer um, we'll have a white stitched oval and a scallop not oval circle we're going to use the braided burlap trim which is a real fun one and our color tonight is Early Espresso. Hi, Chris Lindner. Thank you for joining me. I have to keep standing up so I can see what's being said because for once my, um, my Kindle isn't cooperating with me, which makes me sad. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is take our tropical oasis layer and um, put it right on our early espresso. Before I started the Facebook Live, I was watching the news. It sounds like the state is slowly starting to open up, which I'm glad. I think we all have enough common sense that if you're not comfortable, you can stay home or you can you can go. Not that it really makes that much difference to me. I'm not a I don't go out very much, but I don't like somebody telling me what I can and cannot do. I guess that's my biggest problem. Okay, so we have that all adhered. And we're going to go and do the inside. I'm getting all my stamps and my early espresso. And we're going to, okay, so I wanted to make sure you can see this, stamp this. So there's that, that turned out excellent. And um, we're going to, to use a strip of um, brown that's also in the Tropical Oasis designer series paper okay and that's how that will look and we'll put that right on the inside I'm trying to use all of my retiring stamp sets one last time for the month of May between my classes, my Facebook Live, I'm not trying to use them all. Okay, I guess I have an extra one. We're going to then take our stitched circle die and run that through our big shot. And we'll have that. And then our scallop layering circle. And that will go right like that. But before we do that, I don't need the Philly Express anymore. Before we do that, we're going to take our little kangaroo and ink it up. Katie Schmidt, well, hello. Thanks for joining me tonight. Appreciate it. Remember, if you like what you see, please go and um, hit the like button. The share button would be great if you have the time. And share my video. Leave me a comment. I know that way I know you were there. That's all things that I appreciate so much. So now we're going to type a greeting on our, our little circle. So welcome. I got to put it closer to me. Welcome. This will be a baby card. Okay, welcome little one. Okay, now we can go Okay, now we can take our stamping up lens. We're going to use We're going to use light old olive, light gray granite, dark gray granite. I'll put them over here so I don't get confused. Dark soft suede and 
light soft suede along with light crumb cake. Okay? So let's take the light gray granite and we will go and color our little koala bear. And, hi Jean Johnson, thanks for joining me. I want the, oh that's dark, I want the light. Okay, I'm sure it's... Um, it's awfully nice out. I'm sure that's where a lot of people are tonight. But those of you that did tune in, I want you to know how much I appreciate this. If you could leave me a like, share my video, leave me a comment either, even. I love hearing from you. If I'm paying attention. Hi, Marcia Ziegler. Thanks for joining me. If I, like I was saying, if I pay attention, I can see when somebody jumps on, but if I don't pay attention, I miss it. We're going to go and color our kangaroo, which you can see I almost have it done. And let's add some highlights to our kangaroo. Okay, almost done. Just a little bit more. The stamping up blends makes our coloring pretty easy. I am not one for coloring, as you can see, but um, the blends make it easy. I really like that. And let's just add little grass there that's it okay move these aside now we're going to go and put a little bit of white glue and we're going to put this right there before we do that, we're going to take a strip of our designer series paper. It's a great way to use scraps. We're going to put this little scrap right there. Put that right there. And then we're going to take four inches of our braided um, ribbon. So I'll measure out four inches. Uh, 
and that will go right like that. I want it in a waist like that. Okay. Now, you may be wondering how I'm going to get that to stick. And what I'm going to use is my mini glue dots. And that should work out pretty good. Doesn't sound too promising for us to go to our camper this weekend. It's going to be, I guess the water is very cold. Okay, so there's our ribbon. And I want to go and take my... Uh, snips here. Fray that end. There we go. Nikki Reith is watching. Well, hi, Nikki. I'm glad you could tune in. Almost got our card done. And then I want my dimensions. And again, we're going to put that right here. So by putting it right there, I'm going to put dimensions at the top and at the bottom. I'm going to leave this part um, clear for the um, burlap ribbon. Just like that. And that's our card. Um, as I said before, it uses the Animal Outing stamp set that will be retiring at the end of May. This is our card. Um, welcome, little one. And it says Wild About You inside. So there, there we go. If you need if you are ever looking for a Stamping Up demonstrator, please keep me in mind. I would love to earn your business. I appreciate you so much for tuning in tonight. Um, this was a back-to-back -back, uh, live, Facebook Live. Um, I had my technique class last night, so that was on Facebook too, but it was a private group. So, okay. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great rest of the week. Um, thank you.